All right, here we are for part two. See if we can find some interesting things in another section of the store today. Things you might not think to buy. That's what this video is all about. Trying to find some alternative, different things that you might not think to try. So let's go. All right, we're checking out the dairy section today. We're gonna to start off with cheese. Now, what I want to say about cheese is, try a different flavor of cheese. Don't just keep sticking with cheddar. There's so many different varieties of cheese out there that you shouldn't be just sticking with cheddar. And look at the Sargento. They have these sliced it, sliced cheese, the ultra thin. If you've given up cheese because it's too high in points, check out these are very, very, very good cheeses. Also, I love pre-portioned cheese. Baby bells are where it's at. I just can't control myself. So those are usually two points and you can get a variety of, some are three depending on the flavors, but I love, and these balance break snacks with cheese, meat and crackers, and sometimes um, some dried fruits are fantastic. Again, pre-portioned string cheese is my, is my favorite. And you have the balance breaks in all different brands. Definitely a string cheese is, you see that a lot in my what I eat in a day, because I just feel it's easier to portion myself with a pre-portioned and Lunchables are pre-portioned. Yes, they're for children, but it doesn't mean we can't have them. It's pre-portioned meats and cheeses and different types of nut milks. Oh my gosh, the nut milk industry has really exploded. You can get chocolate nut milk. You can get all different types. You can get all different, you can get soy, you can get oat. Definitely, I like these in lattes and cereal. I just think it's really a good option. And the Ready Whip. If you've never had Ready Whip, you don't want to waste points on whipped cream. I'm telling you, you can get a lot of bang for your buck. And there's a zero sugar one. And light butters. Different types. They're not, are these really butter? Probably not. But they're not bad. Um, those up there are the ones I don't use. But these down here are really good options. You can get a decent amount for one or two points. I love the spray butter. You know I'm all about the spray butter. Um, I'm just not willing to spend the points on butter. You can't get enough of butter and I you're not going to taste you know a little bit so I'd rather have a lot more of these types and I could taste it and honestly you don't really know the difference and there's the butter section if you're willing to pay the points for it like I said go ahead but I'm not for the amount that I'm going to get it's just a choice that I make Canadian bacon oh my gosh Canadian bacon is super high in protein and such a good breakfast meat it just, it just flabbergasts me where, where it's been all my life. And I love these egg life wraps. They're really expensive, but I don't always get them. But I didn't realize they had a sweet one. I was a little bit flabbergasted there. Hmm, we want to have to make a dessert with them someday. But bacon, 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 bacon. You can get turkey bacon and you can get a good center cut bacon for the same points as turkey bacon. So keep that in mind. So, you know, you, th you know, like I said, and when you pay for the bacon, you pay for the oil. I mean, the grease and pickles. If you've never had refrigerated pickles, you need to. You will never go back to the ones on the shelf. Yes, they're a little bit more pricier, but there's a better quality of pickle. And hot dogs. I know, hot dogs. Have you given up hot dogs because you're on a weight loss journey? Well, let me tell you, these Hebrew National Lights are only one point, and they're so delicious. Love, love, love them. I get them every summer. We have that. And cottage cheese. Now, I'm going to sit there and tell you to reinvent cottage cheese. Don't eat it out of the container. Make a dip with it. You know, it's just, it's such a good high source of protein. It just, it needs to be utilized in a different way. That's my advice to you is utilize it in a different way. Is definitely add it back to your life if you don't, like I said, and get the, see, there's the whipped. I know a lot of you can't get the whipped. You can make your own whipped with just putting your cottage cheese in a food processor, but yeah, there's the whipped friendship. It's absolutely, it tastes like ricotta. You would blindfold it. I don't know if I'd even know the difference. And yogurts. Now, there's higher caloric yogurts, higher point yogurts, full fat, no fat, low fat, fruit, no fruit, sugar, no sugar. You decide what you want to spend on. There's a different variety. Try them out. Like, if you don't like something, don't eat it. But there's different flavors, and some of them have really unique flavorings, and they're pretty gosh darn good. I'll, I'm going to be honest with you. There's some of them I absolutely love. They make a great dessert, like that toasted marshmallow, just saying. They do. Think about it as a little after dinner treat. Don't always think of it as breakfast. Think of it as what can I do with it as an after dinner treat. You will absolutely love it. I promise. Kombucha, really good for your gut or kombucha, really good for your gut. And I don't drink a whole one. Sometimes I drink maybe a third and it's really good for your gut health and you really should check it out. So I thought I'd throw the little haul on this video. I have a couple of interesting things I wanted to share and um, I'll share them. Now, I love these pressed 
pretzel crisps, but they have them in gluten-free. I'm trying to do less, or a little bit, I should say, more gluten-free. I'm not totally gluten-free, but certain products, like, and I do adore gluten-free pretzels. They are so much better and more expensive. But I've never seen the crisps from the snack factory in gluten-free, so I wanted to try them in everything. They had regular and everything. So um, these and these were actually the same price as the regular ones, which is like what? Well, I'm happy about that. There are four points for the serving of about 14 crackers, 110 calories. But I love these. I love pretzel crisps. I'm so happy to have they have them gluten-free. Like I said, I just have a um, slight allergy to gluten. I'm not gluten intolerant or anything. I just get sometimes bloated. Um, I needed to get mustard, and I've been trying to find a fun mustard. The only thing they had there that was slightly fun was horseradish mustard. I need to get my coops, and they didn't have any coops there. So I wanted to grab something because I don't like yellow mustard. It's, all we have is yellow mustard. So, so I wanted to grab that. Oh, these. These, I've seen Peter brought one home, and I've often thought these are called Soli. You may would have heard of them. Um, one whole organic banana with cacao. This is, only thing that's in here is organic bananas and organic cacao. That's it. It's three. It comes. It scans at two points because it's processed. It's you know it's not a banana like we know it, but it's just pressed into a thing. But I thought honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I wouldn't count it because there's nothing in it. But I definitely should tell you the points because it's definitely you know you should you know if you're a counter you should count it. That's what gets you through the day. It is 80 calories for this stick, and there is one gram of protein. But I thought for a full fruit in like a midday snack, and they also got it in half an organic pineapple with coconut. So it is like this is like it's never added sugar preservatives or from it's just two ingredients. And this one is organic pineapple and organic coconut. Now this one scans at three points because of the coconut. Now I probably would count this one because of the coconut. See, I am fair, <laughs> but it, there's nothing else in it. So I thought it looked how cool it looks. It looks look really interesting. I thought that'd be a fun, you know, little treat to try. I'm, I don't need enough fruit. We've established that. And they now, I don't want to hear anything negative about my fruit. But I did get these apples. They are. I've gotten them last year. They are. They're lemon. I guess they're genetically modified. Now. I don't care about genetically modified fruit. It's still fruit. I don't care what they did to make it lemon or caramel. Some people are very up about that. Like, it's still an apple. You know, if, if you know, our society has evolved today to make things fun. Like, you know, if think about it, without, without change, people wouldn't be able to have babies. People, you know, so yeah, so they make a different, interesting fruit. But I've had these before. They're really good. They have a little tint of lemon in them. I got three. They were 99 cents a pound. So I think I got a little over a pound. For 99 cents, I was really shocked. And these, again, my people who don't like GMO stuff, I don't slam anybody else's food. Winter frost pine berries. These are the cross between a strawberry and a pineapple. I, my store had them for $3, which I thought that was a steal. Maybe it's because of the Valentine's Day. I don't know. I've only ever found these at Aldi, but my shop right had them. So I thought they were pretty tasty. And for three bucks, I was willing to pay three bucks for them. But look at them. They look like naked strawberries. So, yeah. Um, I was going to show you something else. Where did it go? Oh, I, I heard these were at CVS, which is a drugstore in my area. Now, I've seen other YouTube channels haul them. Alyssa's cookies. Now you can go to her website. I wasn't going. I, you know, I'm trying to limit my online stuff at least because of the shipping costs. But I heard they had them at CVS, so I wanted to try them. They are the healthy oatmeal bites, gourmet oatmeal bites with dried fruits, gluten-free, non-GMO, high fiber, no sugar added, made with all natural ingredients, no preservatives, no added, no soy, no omega threes, and no trans fats. Made with coconut oil, chia seeds. They don't have my glasses on, but um. This one is, these are just oatmeal bites. Okay, these are one point each. That's a, I, my, the reason I got this is because I wonder if I could recreate it. So you gotta taste it to recreate it, right? So I thought, but yeah. and I also got the healthy chocolate bites. Now these are one for one, two for three, but they're the same size. And if you had three, they would be, I scanned it. I'm pretty sure it was three cookies for three points. 
one cookie for one, two, no, one cookie for one, two for three, and three for four. But so I was happy to find these locally because I didn't want to have to order them online, but I did want to try them. And I mine's for experimental purposes. I want to see if I could um, recreate these at home. Yeah, I love a good oatmeal anything, and they're gluten free. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to try these. These were not cheap, but I will tell you, I did save on having to ship them, and I didn't have to buy like, excuse me, you like me, you have to buy the free shipping amount because you feel guilty paying for shipping, and then you have all this stuff. And what if you don't like it? I've had that happen. Um, so I was happy to find these locally. So. Um, maybe try their website. If, I mean, like, I know you, you've seen these. I'm not the first person to tell you about these. So go on her website and, um, see if you can, maybe I should go on. There. I was going to go on there to see if they were at the CVS, but I was across the street from the CVS and they were there. So I picked those up. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little part two of our shop right experience. There's going to be many more because like I said, today was a little bit crowded. So I had to be very careful where I was filming at. But part two of, of things you might not know are there because, like I said, we're so we're focused on the things that we always get. There's all fun things that you can try. And don't hate me because I get GMO fruit. I mean, I don't subscribe to anything that's off limits. You know me. I don't. I, 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 I let everybody play in the sandbox. So that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and comment below with something you think you might want to try that I've panned around as best I could. And I will dish with you another day. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at Dish With Thee. For realistic, healthy lifestyle content. We don't fear monger here. Everybody's welcome into the pool. So I hope you join us. And if you enjoyed this video, and I will dish with you later. Bye-bye.